I'm more relaxed when somebody else is flying their hawk than when I am. When mine are in the air, it's it's business. It's business. There's an anxiety. You know, you're you want the flush to be right, but in reality, it's really not going to be right because you should really have a leash around your neck, and your hawk and bug buddy should be, have the end of it. And he should be pulling you back and. And actually, what you should do is you should turn your hawks loose and let your friend fly, and let your friend do all the flushing, and you just sit back and watch your hawks. That's probably the most sane thing to do. It'll take him a little while to, to run off. No, he's, he was really good out here by himself the other day. Look at the sage grouse shit right here. There's a choreography to falconry. First of all, spatially. You have uh, the three-dimensionality of it, but you also have uh, the fact that each participant has got its own particular uh, senses and attributes. Uh, the, 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 the grouse and the falcon of fly, but to, in two totally different ways. The dog has smell. The human being is trying to bring this whole uh, drama together so that it has the right outcome. Now, the right outcome doesn't necessarily mean the death of the grouse, but what it does, uh, it, everything has to perform to its ultimate in order for the thing to achieve the kind of aesthetic perfection that one is searching for. Thank you for your help, kind sir. That's all right. I'll never forget that flight. I just wish Tom was in on it. <laughs> <laughs> 